changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. What's going on guys, Kevin here, and welcome to Fallout New Vegas, an owl that was bright. Alright, this is on PC of course, I'm not using a capture card or anything for a console, so. Ah uh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. Got all my DLC installed, so it's going to be adding a whole bunch of shit to my inventory. Yeah. Uh, you're awake. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm awake. How about that? All right, Doc. Whoa, easy there, easy. See me. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second, get your bearings. Okay. See what the damage is. <laughs> How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, maybe. My name's Courier. Courier. <laughs> Gavage. Gavage is the name. Fallout is the game. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name... Oh, that's thanks, name, Dick. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull oh, all the bits of thanks. lead out. Thanks. No wonder I'm crazy. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Whoa. Way off. Way off. 
Let's see. This is always the fun part of the game, actually customizing everything. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Ooh, you know what? I got a better idea. Oh, yes. Eh, that'd be fun, I guess. Hairstyle. Okay, here we go. Haha. <laughs> oh, <laughs> go back. Okay. Sarge. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. We'll do the unsettler. Some people like to sit on this for like an hour or so period in their character. I don't see the point in it. You're not really, unless you're playing in third person mode, you're not really gonna see your face that often. So. And I play in first person, so... Oh, coot. That's funny. A man's man. A lady's man. <laughs> Daddy, oh. <laughs> it works actually. Hopefully, fine with that. Yeah, well, that's fine. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. You got nothing okay. right. No nothing. Not in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Wee! Looking good so far. <laughs> Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. You'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Come on. Mm hmm. Okay. So for strength. Beach fully. Uh -huh. Average Joe would be fine. Get perception. Endurance. Charisma. Intelligence. Ability's fine. Yeah, that'll be fine too. I was actually kind of hoping I was going to be able to have one more point for that, but that's okay. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go back. Uh, I want to have luck, at least up to a certain spot. All right, that's fine. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, well thanks a lot, Bob. Good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Take a seat in my couch? Doctor, so bark. No! <laughs> so you saying I'm crazy, Doc? Yeah. All uh, right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Mouse. <laughs> Burglarized. Night. Day. 
enemy. Friend. Light. Eyes. Dark. Mother. Tantrum. Okay. <laughs> now I got a few statements. I want you All to right. tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Conflict just isn't in my nature. No opinion. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Strongly agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Oh, hell yes. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly Almost agree. done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Well, it looks like a... Two-headed. An angry two-headed. <laughs> That's fucking chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? Space Age Last technology. One. Mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay. It's good enough, I guess. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. All right. I got a form for you to fill out so I can oh, get a sense yeah. of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Alright. Two traits. Okay. Now I know. Okay, let's see. This one will give you 25. 25 pounds. Okay. Your health drops below 50, you gain 10% more damage, but you also suffer to agility and perception attributes. Okay. There's one in here. It's been a while. I can't remember which one it was. Well, I for sure want to get that one because I want a little bit more weight. Um. Hey, I said that first. I'll see you out. Why don't you give me some fucking clothes, dude? So I can put some clothes on. Give me a vault suit. Crazy. Here, these are yours. Thank you. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum ship. That was well, son of a bitch. Well, if you're back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals you know? will pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. You know, uh, Nocturne, my buddy Nocturne, he has uh, a pit boy that you actually mount up here. You're supposed to be able to put your phone in there, but you can only put certain kind of phones in it. But uh, maybe, maybe one of these videos, I'll grab it and I'll show it to y'all just so y'all can see it. It's actually pretty neat. It's like one of those box sets that you had to buy for your Xbox or PlayStation. And it came with a big ass pit bullet. Anyway. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. In the She'll desert. likely be at the saloon. 
I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. <laughs> I can't promise anything, Doc. Alright, so this is one of the things I was actually going to talk to you about. Talk to y'all about, sorry. Uh, I'm not doing hardcore mode. Fuck that. I've tried doing hardcore mode. And I just, no. This is not happening. <laughs> it's a lot more fun when you can do a whole bunch of different things. You not have to worry about hardcore mode. Damn, yeah, dude. Alright. That's all the DLC shit. All right. Okay, we get it. Come on. Good springs. What up? What up, Easy Pete? Yeah, Sierra hey, Madre. Yeah, what fuck that DLC too. You? See, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. As in much as I know, other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. So why do you call DCP? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now oh, I'll just hey. take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Big Horners. So you were a prospector? Like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money. Oh, you like the chems. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Sure. Thanks, HP. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh, thanks a lot. Alright, so I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Hmm. So Doc said you could teach me to survive in the desert? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Oh, thanks. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. Yeah, I came in here one time a long time ago. Came in here and got into the computer. <laughs> I love the old Pit Boy music. Well, it's not the Pit Boy music actually, but it's just the broadcast network that they got going on through New Vegas. All right, so where you, where'd you go, son? Where'd you go? What bitch? Something similar to like Fallout 4, but not. <laughs> now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. All right. That's the right idea. Look down the site. 
Uh, that's what I'm doing. Are crouching down and fucking mom. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Actually, I Tell did. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure. Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would but never forgive me. But you just said me. that you were going. Hey, do me a favor. Oh, make up your Trudy, mind. She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Yes, ma'am. Done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're Ooh. burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. <laughs> well, you've been causing quite a stir. I I've done got nothing to yet. You. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. So Ringo, got it. Attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. So why not just kill Cobb and just be done with it? You mean murder him? That's yeah. not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. So what are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Probably it was not. a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Ah, okay. Well. All right. Yeah. Uh. Be careful out there. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Now. I'm gonna say it's just up the road here if I remember correctly. Did I ever freaking... I don't think I ever did, did I? Oh. Okay, I was just making sure. Okay. I didn't want to, I'm like, I didn't want to be running around fucking in my underwear and shit. Jesus. Hey, there you are. Cobby. What do you want? What do you think I want? What was that you said about Ringo? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. Ooh. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Hmm. So this area is your territory. It is now. Ah. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Hmm. What were you in prison None for? Your damn business. Well, that damn. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. You're so sensitive. I just need to know if I, if I should watch my step around you. That's all. Robbed some so. people, burned some things, killed a few guys. Okay. So, what's say help you take over this town? What the hell for? Just farmers and ranchers out here. Not much worth stealing. Well, I don't know. Free food, I guess. Having all the food we want ain't a bad idea, actually. Getting sick of eating prison rations. First See? things first, though. You go settle things with Ringo and put a bullet between his eyes while I round up my crew and let them in on the plan. Okay. 
Yeah. While you're doing that, I'll be here waiting for my friends. Join up with us once you're done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So that's where we're gonna end this one for today, guys. So appreciate you coming and watching the intro to Fallout New Vegas. And we'll definitely be making a series out of this one. So so if you stick around and and watch. So yeah. Until then, guys, I will see you in the next video. Later.